everybody, this is Lewis here from Wolfcraft today, and uh, I'm going to be bringing you guys a mod showcase. This is going to be called the uh, Meteors mod, and um, this is the f third time I've recorded it. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. I've, um, I did it perfectly with and everything, but the thing is, I forgot to change my microphones, and it was recording on the other mic, which was not plugged in. And it got all messed up, so um, I'm redoing it today, right now. And um, first, this is kind of like a two-part mod. I'm going to be showing you guys um, the uh, meteors first, and then the craftable stuff. So we're gonna go to the opposite place of where I summon them because this mod got pretty messed up. So first, we have the um, the regular meteor. You throw like a snowball, and then it'll come down, and you'll see it from the sky. It'll say "incoming meteor" at the corner, and there it is. Boom! There it go. It blows up, and this stuff, uh, you can mine it. You, this stuff will burn you these, um, cause it's fresh. But I, I'm not in survival mode. But if you were in survival mode and you stepped on these, it will burn you just like, uh, like fire. But if you mine them, I'm in creative mode. But once you mine them, they will give you meteor chips. I think one, one uh, block will give you two. But if you let it cool down too much, it'll turn into um. It'll turn into regular meteor block, and then eventually, like without the sparkles, like colors, and then turn it into obsidian. And you'll have an ugly ass obsidian crater just chilling in the middle of your map, and that is horrible. Next, we have the um, freezerite, which is one of my favorites, but not my favorite. And you throw that. I accidentally just threw two, but who cares? You look up, there's a meteor, and there's another meteor. Boom. Okay, it'll turn the area snowy, and you'll get this freezerite ore, and it will melt pretty quickly, so you gotta watch out, and you, yeah, you mine it, and, uh, if you don't mine it fast enough, it'll turn into water, but it, once you mine that, it'll give you something called a freezerite crystal, which I don't have right now because I did not have it ready. And uh, this is used in a later crafting recipe, which I will show you later. So, um, that's pretty cool. And then, next is the, what? Yeah, the, um, Konomerite, Kon Kerry Karite, something. I'll do it right on these chickens right here. And, uh, this one's kind of like a fiery one, like, um, like a nether type of thing. And I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, it'll make, um, this, and once you... This is here, you mine uh, this, it's still like everything. You stand on this, you'll burn. Besides, uh, the freeze one, which you won't, nothing will happen if you stand on that. Just, you know, it's just like water. You'd think they'd have you like freeze to death, but no. Anyway, uh, you mine this, and it gives you, what, it gives you this, yeah, Canaverite chip. You can make that in future crafting recipes, which I will show you later in the video. And um, another cool feature is if I spawn a couple more, it does have a, a, another feature that comes with it, so hopefully one of these meteors will appear with the feature. And this one did right here. And this feature is the um, famous nether portal. And this is cool because you cannot do these in the nether, first off, if you're going to ask that. And the next thing is um, if you... M mobs can actually come out of this nether portal, not regular nether portals, but this nether portal. So if you don't want to waste your time, go get an obsidian. Um, then you can just get one of these things, these chips, which are craftable. And um, I'm not going to teach you the crafting res recipes for these, but you can uh, just go to the form down below, and you'll you can find those out with along with some other things. And um, yeah, the mobs such as pigment. I think it's pigment only, and maybe some blazes will come out of there, but not like gas or anything like too overpowered. Next is the unknown, which is very very cool, and um, these will spawn. I'll spawn a couple because uh, it does spawn something uh, pretty neat. It'll spawn these uh, like in the middle. Uh, you'll get a chest, and it'll spawn like give lucky get some diamonds, and you can get um, some like chest plates and pickaxes. And uh, these pickaxes and chest plates and like armor when I get to the crafting part of this video. Um, they all already have enchantments when you make them, so that's cool. You don't have to enchant them. And these red meteor gems are only found in these chests. So, um, yeah, they are pretty rare, but not really rare if you spawn one of these things in. 
So um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And next off, we'll we're going to the the Kitty Comet Summoner, and this one is one of my favorites, probably my most favorite. And you spawn that in, and whoom, it's coming down. There it is. It'll spawn a little kitty cat, which um, it just chills. You know, it's just like an ocelot, but you can tame it, and it is just as strong as an ocelot, and that is uh, pretty cool. And um, next, it's stronger than an ocelot actually. Um, yeah, there are things that are like five times stronger than they do more damage with hits and they'll protect you, etc, etc. Next, um, you can spawn them, and I know if you, s yeah, there's a little baby one, and it also spawns baby ocelots, and yes, you can breed these, um, space kitties, so spawn a couple, a couple more, get a couple baby ocelots in there, and then, uh, spawn alien creeper, these will, uh, spawn with, with every, um, meteor that comes down, if you have it on easy or higher. And I don't, but they do look like this, if you can see, because I really don't, uh, actually, why not, I'll change, I'll put it to, uh, easy, to show you, spawn one, there it is, it's like charged and has a little, nice little antenna, we all know what that's antenna for, if you know what I'm saying, but if you hit them, they do a extremely big crater, just like a meteor would do of damage, and, um, that's pretty cool, and that's all that, this might have to offer for, the meteors part, which is actually a lot. So now I'm going to get into the um, crafting recipes and other stuff. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back, and um, I'm going to show you guys the crafting recipes. And uh, what we got is the armor for each and um, some tools. But I'm going to start off with the uh, the meteorite, like the chip armor, and it's made. everything is made normally, but just with chips instead of whatever ore you're using. Besides these, instead of sticks for these, uh, you use iron just for these, though. These uh, and this, you use sticks with uh, this item under it, but uh, only for these, you use iron. So, um, they're all the same. This, These are all like just like diamond, but I think they have uh, more uses, and I think it might mine a little faster than diamond. So, if I switch, first I'll put it back on peaceful. Whoops. Um, yeah, we'll put it back on peaceful. And then we'll go into, what, easy? Yeah. Wait, no, why did I just do that? I am retarded. Uh, I actually wanted to go to um, game mode survival. So um, now if I pull out my pickaxe, I'm also going to, I really don't need to show you guys this, but I can show you guys the armor and the pickaxe. The sword is just a little stronger than diamond, I think. It's like an instant kill hit. And, um... There you go. The armor looks pretty cool. I'll go into F5 mode if you guys want to see that. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Looks like a samurai. Does mine pretty fast. And the enchantment, uh, yeah, the enchantment that this has is magnetization. It is only for this mod. But um, what it does, watch. I break that, it'll fly over to me. Did that get stuck? Did I pick it up? Probably. But if I go like that, see it, it flies over to me. That coal will do it too. Just because this, I have this enchantment. And all these enchantments that you get with all the armor comes with uh, when you craft it. So you don't have to enchant them. And I don't think you can enchant them because that would probably be overpowered. Extremely overpowered. So, um, yeah, and they, they do all have the same, uh, like, mining rate. Just different uh, stuff that you can get. And then, if we take off our armor... Uh, take off this, and we go back into here. We will get the um, freeze right uh, set. I really don't need the hoe, but I can. The this all I'll explain this right now. This will automatically waters farmland when used, such as like for sugarcane, which is uh, pretty cool. So you don't really need water or near it. And this is the freezer right spade increases underwater digging speed. Freezer right axe increases underwater cutting speed, which I don't know. Why well, you would ever need that? But um, freezer right pickaxe increases underwater mining speed. That's cool. And uh, the freezer right sword freezes uh, enemies, causing them to slow down. But I did test this out. It only does it for about two seconds, and then they just come right back at you. So that's it. There's no need to demonstrate that. It's, uh, I think it's same as diamond or a little stronger. And once you put the armor on, uh, it does give you cool stuff. Go to F5 mode right here. You'll see it kind of looks like um like lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli, whatever you want to call it, armor will look like, but like looks pretty cool like a gladiator, and its enchantments are 
Respiration 3, Aqua Infinity 1, Cold Touch 1, and yeah, that also has Cold Touch 1, and I'll demonstrate Cold Touch 1 right now for you. So if I go right here, which I made this little pit of watery sauce, um, I can wa you walk on it, and whatever you walk on with Cold Touch, it'll automatically turn it into ice, so then you can just break that again, then there you go, walk on it again, it's ice, and that does not take down the durability at all. So that is uh, pretty sweet. We'll drop that. And we can also drop this coal because we don't want coal, do we? No, we do not want coal. And this, our next set, is the Kenrite. And this is Kenrite Helmet, uh, Fire Protection 4, another Fire Protection 4, Fire Protection 4, and Fire Protection 4. So you are pretty much invincible from all fire. And I'll put this on just to show you guys. And the sword it just has fire aspect too. It's like a normal diamond sword, maybe a little bit stronger. So it doesn't really do anything. Just, uh, it's cool to make, it's easier to make than diamond. But, um, so, oh, I don't know why I did that, but we can go to F5 mode. You can see it's pretty cool, pretty normal. And, uh, that's all, that's it for the armor. And next I'll show you, um, is the meteor shield, and that's made with, like, the five cobblestone, redstone in the middle, and three meteor ships on top. Grab that. And this, which you get from the ra random spawn or whatever uh, that and this will power it and I'll tell you that and these protected land testers will use craft them with one meteor chip and one stick and you get that and I'll get into these compasses a little later so we'll go over here and we'll put this one down and um, it has to charge with the air so then um but if you put this down uh, it's not lit up because it's still charging well, that's lit, it's lit up now because it's a little charged, but it'll only go for a certain, like, radius of block. I think it's only 41 blocks. But if you, say if I go over here and then um, put this meteor chip in, you can put, like, one meteor chip in. That'll make it glowing up if you don't want to wait for it to charge. And then um, you can put the red, there's red things in them when uh, it has the yellow light. And that'll make it 40%, which makes the radius wider. 60%. 80% and then ultimate pretty much your whole map is protected from meteors and you can break these I think you and you can pick it back up oh, let's try that and um, before I do that uh, I'll just stay in this and I'll show you these testers if I have put one of these down right there and then it'll, um, it'll be lit up and it'll only be lit up if it is in that current zone which uh, this is protecting so if I say if I this was weaker and I went like a hundred blocks out and then put it down it would not light up because it's not in um, the protected zone but if I go into game mode what game mode zero I believe yes and I break this yes you can pick it up but I think you will have to re you will have to recharge it if you just try to destroy it so we'll break break that real quick, and then if we put this down right here, it will not be lit up because it's not in. There's nothing protecting it, and um, that's pretty cool. And that's I'll just show you the compasses now, and that'll be the end of this showcase. There is also one more compass that I think I broke, or not broke, but misplaced. I'm in not in creative, so I have to switch back to creative and get the um the proximity detector. Oh, there we go. And what this one does, um, it maps out and shows you where the next meteor that will spawn will be coming from within, I think it's like within a minute. So the next one will be coming from that direction. This one is the crash detector. It uh, points at the nearest crash, where the nearest crash meteor was, if you want to go harvest that stuff. And mine is going crazy right now because I did a couple of like meteor crashes, and it's just going crazy because... I made a lot of the meteor crashes come down within my area. And this is the proximity. This, um, if one is in your specific, like, within 50 blocks of you, that's, uh, and it'll point, I think not 50, I think it's, like, 500 or less, like, 100. And, um, so if one if, if that is in 100 blocks of me, it'll come down in that direction, uh, uh, eventually. I think it's when, whenever. So, um... And these crafting recipes, they are, uh, it's quite hard to teach them, and I didn't really feel like putting them in a box because there were so much crafting recipes. So if you guys want to know the crafting recipes, you can go down to the forums below and check that out. 
But this is all this mod uh, has to offer right now. It's actually a really good mod, and it is in the uh, early stages of being created. So it does have a lot, and I think a lot will come out of it because if this is only the first couple stages. So that is pretty cool. And um, if you're new to the channel, please click subscribe and leave a like, comment if you want. And um, this mod is a little different to install, so, but I'm not going to tell you how to install it. Uh, there's a video, so just look up how to install Meteor Mod, because uh, it is a little different. And um, I'll show you, and then you guys can check out that. So um, thanks for watching, and please like if you enjoyed. So um, peace out from Wolfcraft. Bye-bye.